Now, this, this, of course, is a big and a tragic moment in Japanese politics where the longest serving Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe, who, remember, stepped down from the chair of the Prime Minister in the year 2020 because of his ailing health, has been shot dead this morning. He was 67 years old. He was a towering presence and he was the Prime Minister of Japan twice and weaved the architecture of modern day Japan's strategic posturing despite having weathered several political storms in his own country. Now Shinzo Abe has left behind him a legacy that is going to be remembered for a long time to come in Japan. Take a look. Born in Tokyo to a prominent political family, Shinzo Abe smashed records as Japan's longest serving prime minister. He championed ambitious economic reforms and forged key diplomatic relationships while weathering scandals. Served twice as the prime minister, Abe was a symbol of change and youth. He was also the youngest Prime Minister of Japan at the age of 52. He initially said that he was stepping down for political reasons but later acknowledged that the main reason for his resignation was because he was suffering an ailment which was later diagnosed as ulcerative colitis. And a few years after he overcame the ailment with the help of a new medication, he ran again for the post, and Japan's revolving prime ministerial door brought him back to the office in the year 2012. In his second term, Abe worked on a host of issues, from reviving Japan's economy to boosting the country's flagging birth rate. Abe also pushed through controversial consumption tax hikes and plug gaps in Japan's overstretched social security system. He has been credited with charting Japan's economic growth through reforms and policies popularly known as Abenomics. Meanwhile, on the international front, Abe took a hard line against North Korea, but acted as a peacemaker between the United States and Iran, with a vision of upholding freedom and prosperity in the Asia-Pacific. Former Prime Minister of Japan Shinzo Abe laid the foundation of Quad in the year 2007. His leadership is also said to have transformed Japan's relationship with India. Throughout his tenure, Abe has weathered many political storms. The longest serving premier leaves behind a legacy of economic boom. And I also earlier spoke with Ken Moriyasu, who's a diplomatic correspondent at the Nikkei Asia. He joined me from Tokyo, and this is what he had to say about the tragic death of Shinzo Abe. It's a very shocking and tragic day here in Japan. Uh, the elections for the upper house of Japan is scheduled on Sunday. Uh, so tomorrow is the last day of campaigning. So this was just two days before that, uh, before election day, very crucial day. Uh, Shinzo Abe is still one of the most influential politicians in Japan. And he's also one of the most popular speakers on the campaign trail. So a lot of uh, LDP, the Liberal Democratic Party, ruling party's candidates uh, have requested for Abe to come to speak on their behalf uh, just ahead of the elections. Uh, as you know, uh, Shinzo Abe is the longest serving Japanese prime minister in history, and he was also a very hawkish uh, leader. And uh, he has really um, pushed forward the uh, national security debate. Uh, so naturally, um, this kind of uh, terrorist attack, uh, people might um, link um, to that kind of um, conservative right-leaning policies. But apparently, according to reports, the suspect has told police that he did have frustration towards Mr. Abe, but it's not that he was angry with his political beliefs and that the political beliefs were not the reason for the attack. So that's all we know.
He served uh, as prime minister, well, he served two terms, but the second term is the important one, from 2012 to 2020, so for a total of uh, nearly eight years. And towards the end of his um, tenure as the prime minister, his popularity uh, was uh, declining a little bit, and he was uh, under a lot of pressure, and uh, that led to a lot of stress and that um, he decided to step down. Uh, after stepping down, he was in a, a very unique position um, because uh, he didn't uh, have to lead the party, but he did lead the largest faction in the LDP. And the LDP is a collaboration of many factions. And if you lead the lead, leading faction, the largest faction, you're considered the kingmaker in Japan. So he was enjoying this kind of kingmaker um, status. And also after he um, stepped down from prime minister, uh, he had been uh, more vocal in terms of national security. Uh, when he was prime minister, he had to worry about uh, the economy. He had to worry about social security and uh, national security. But after he stepped down, he really could focus on his favorite subject, which is national security. And he, in Japan, he was leading the call uh, to increase the uh, defense budget, doubling the defense budget to 2% of GDP. So he, he was in a very influential position and he knew that he wasn't in such a, like a responsible position as the prime minister. So he, he had more freedom to say what was on, on his mind. And he was very intentionally um, trying to lead the, the debate on national security. Every Thursday, uh, there is a gathering of his faction and he would uh, make a speech. This was his uh, once a week uh, regular uh, appearance in front of the press. And he would uh, always prepare something for this event uh, to make the headlines. He knew very much uh, the kind of influence he had. And he would use these uh, Thursday press conferences um, to make clear his views, to gently uh, picture the prime minister. Gun laws are very strict in Japan. You, you just can't buy guns uh, in, in stores like in America. Uh, not just stores, uh, uh, not just guns, but uh, swords and knives. If you're caught carrying a knife around town, you'll be arrested. So that is very shocking. Um, there is video footage uh, of the weapon on the floor in Nara. Uh, it looks like um, a handmade kind of gun, uh, some kind of combination of two, two guns uh, combined by uh, tape, gum tape. Um, we don't know how... Um, this suspect um, got his hands on the gun, but uh, it, it is very shocking because uh, gun violence, you just don't hear about it in the streets every day. Uh, regarding the security around Prime Minister Abe, uh, all former prime ministers um, have um, special police guarding them at all times. Um, so uh, people like Mr. Um, Abe and Mr. Aso, Mr. Fukuda, they all have um, security around them. Uh, as for the election campaign, um, th there is an 18-day election campaign uh, in which politicians are allowed to uh, make speeches. Um, so uh, this was a period where all the politicians are exposed to the public. And uh, there is extra guarded um, security. Uh, like if you see in the video footage today, there are many um, security police around him. But uh, the... the the guy got to him. Yeah. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.